Hey everyone, I have a great interview for you. This is Amit, and you're, are, where are you from right now? Where are you located? So I'm located in Bangalore, which is in India. Awesome. So um, I wanted to talk to you because you sent me your before and after picture. It was quite incredible, and I wanted to find out a little bit about your story. Um, can you tell me a little bit about where you were before and then what happened to turn around before you lost the weight? Yeah, definitely. So uh, in my early teen age, I was pretty good. I mean, I was slim. But when I started my college is that when I got a lot of fat. So uh, it was like eating all day out junk food. I, I was not caring about what I'm eating exactly. It was whatever I get. Mostly it was fast food and restaurant food. So uh, it started uh, in college time when I was like uh, in, uh, at the 19 or 20 years of old. Uh, I got a lot of weight. My weight was around uh, 89. Uh, I, have, I have reached 92 as well, 92 kgs. Okay, so 92 kgs, how many uh, pounds is that? Uh, I think it is uh, around 200. Okay. Wow, yeah, I remember in college, uh, we ate really, really healthy. No, I'm being sarcastic. Now, it was like we had deep fried night, Hormel chili. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I actually survived on that. We'd go to the, uh, we were so poor, we went to these these stores that you had these discounted canned foods and buy right. canned meat. And I'm like, what the heck am I doing with spam? And um, it was bad, bad. So that's, that was the start of my thing too. So, so you gained all this weight and then, and then what happened? So uh, it was then uh, a, a time came and I, I started feeling unhealthy. Uh, I, I did my uh, health checkup where I found so many issues. I had a fatty liver. Uh, that was the first symptom. Uh, second, how, how old were you when you found you had a fatty liver? Uh, I was uh, at the age of 23. Gosh, that's amazing. Yeah. Did you so, do grad school too? Yes. Wow. So uh, that was uh, 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 scary for me. He doctor told me that I have a fatty liver. Uh, and he told me that you'll have to exercise. You'll have to stop eating outside food. But then I asked him, uh, he, what kind of food should I eat? So uh, he said, stop outside food, uh, stop restaurant food, and start eating uh, healthy food like uh, brown rice and uh, grains, healthy grains, and so on, <laughs> which really didn't help me. So uh, taking his feedback, I joined the uh, gym. Uh, I joined Golds. Uh, there I met a nutritionist. Uh, she was a dietitian. Uh, I, I, I took her advice. She gave me a meal plan. Uh, that plan was again uh, seven meals per day, starting from uh, breakfast. Uh, then every two hours they asked me to eat. So initially I lost around four to five kgs of weight. Uh, I think that was all water weight. Or I stopped eating uh, restaurant food that uh, caused me to lose some weight. But I was still around uh, 85, 86 for around eight to uh, seven to eight years. And uh, it is recently, uh, within a year, when I started following you, I actually got my results down. And uh, most of it is in last three, four months when I actually started uh, going through your videos and following your guidance religiously. And you start, like an example, uh, when you get up in the morning, when's the first time you eat? So I work in, I, I work for US business, but I am in India, so I work in night shift. So uh, my work starts at uh, 7.30 uh, p.m. IST, which is 9 a, uh, around 9 a.m. EST, basically. So uh, what I do is I get up around 2 p.m. every day, uh, India time, all right? And then I work out at uh, 5 p.m., 5 to 7 p.m. IST. 7.30, I start my work. So I fast for nearly 16 hours minimum. And before finishing my uh, fast, I work out, as advised by you, the best time to do a workout. So uh, it also uh, helps me to get into, uh, uh, so now, like, like a few days back, I shared my report with you. I was out of uh, ketosis. So what had happened is my wife was not in town, so I was eating restaurant food. And uh, uh, considering the labels that I had on KFC, uh, I tried it, but it, kicked me out of uh, the ketosis, that was for sure. 
but I got high CRP levels. Yeah, C-reactive yeah. protein is an inflammatory indicator, yeah. Yes, and at the same time, you released a video on uh, CRP. So I was not looking at that report until I saw your video uh, that I have to uh, look at those uh, indicators. So uh, yeah, then uh, as you told me, you g gave me advice that it is uh, high in MSG, which will have inflammation in your body. So I stopped it and uh, uh, I, fall, uh, I got back to the eating habits that you have told me. And today I did my test and uh, I am back into ketosis. Oh, that's great. And um, um, like in, in India, I, I just talked to someone in Pakistan and India just, just this morning. And both of them said that um, there's a fair amount of starch in India. They give a lot of starches, grains, rice, right? And yeah. flour. That's exactly. That's, that's absolutely right. Yes. Uh, diabetes and uh, thyroid. I mean, if you see in my family, uh, I have uh, my cousin brothers and all who think they are eating pretty clean. They go to gym. They do all exercise that uh, they should do, but still they have thyroid. Uh, uh, there are two, three exam such examples in my family itself who have thyroid. And then uh, there are one or two, uh, my uncles who also have got diabetes. Wow. Yeah. So this is my family itself. So I can understand how it would be. And even where I work, uh, there we, uh, I work for Microsoft. So uh, in there also, we have a few of my colleagues who have been, uh, who have thyroid and uh, issues with diabetes. Terrible. And then, so give me an example of what you would eat uh, as your first meal. So my first meal uh, is after uh, approximately five to six hours after I wake up. Uh, so after getting up, uh, I work out before uh, ending my fast. Uh, once I'm done with my workout, I wait for another one hour or so, and then I eat my first meal. So first meal would be, uh, I include around 500 grams of mixed vegetables. That would be Christopher's vegetables like broccoli, uh, bell peppers, uh, and so on. Uh, so mix, I, I cook it in... Uh, uh, coconut oil uh, as suggested by you uh, so that is my uh, first meal along with that I have uh, uh, three ounce of chicken uh, uh, boiled or uh, sorted and uh, and then I dress it with uh, uh, the uh, ghee that is uh, grass-fed butter that is my first meal I generally try to keep one meal only but in case if uh, there are a day or two in a week where I uh, do two meals. Then second meal would be a smaller meal where I have uh, a whole eggs, four to five whole eggs, and uh, a cheese, uh, basically. So cheese has been my uh, 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 a partner in uh, after I started watching your videos. Earlier I was thinking like uh, cheese is uh, dangerous for health, but then I look looked at my reports. Uh, the cholesterol has been 50% uh, reduction in the cholesterol after eating uh, cheese. And you're not even from Wisconsin. That's amazing. Uh, Wisconsin was they have a lot of cheese there. Um, so yeah, some people are, are allergic. They're lactose intolerant. But uh, I suggest try it. Cheese uh, is uh, high in protein and uh, has good fats. Um, question I have: um, the the quality of food in where you f are from, cheese and things. Are, are, do they use like hormones? Do they use a lot of pesticides? Like America? So, uh, yeah, I mean, we have uh, brands which are uh, pasteurized. But what I do is, uh, uh, there is a, uh, so I know a farmer who gives me milk. So I generally take it from him and then my wife makes cheese at home. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm jealous. Yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> that's really healthy. And then, um, so you, so did you find that did you go from three meals to two meals to one meal or how fast did you go to the one meal a day? So it's been uh, like initially when I started IF it was uh, difficult because I always had cravings for uh, carbs, basically sugar. Uh, but then uh, after uh, understanding how exactly body works, uh, obviously from your videos, your guidance, uh, I uh, started pushing myself. Then I came to three meals. From three meals, uh, after three weeks, I entered into 
two meals. Then I continued two meals for uh, twelve weeks, and now uh, I am doing one meal, uh, one meal a day. Wow! And do you work out at all? Well, you do work out. Is it yes. is, is it really intense or is it a, a small workout? So uh, earlier I was doing uh, uh, rest pause training. That is, uh, after every set, I uh, take a rest of two to three minutes. But then, uh, and I used to work out daily. Uh, it was not that effective. Uh, since uh, then, I start after following your videos, I started doing high intensity interval training, and uh, that helps me a lot to burn fat. Uh, as I'm doing a workout on a fasted state, it helps me to uh, get into ketosis also. I mean, last example, yesterday's example, I was out of ketosis for few days. Uh, from last three four days, I'm eating a proper food, but I was still not into ketosis. Yesterday, I went and I did a high intensity interval training for. Uh, 45 minutes, and today morning when I checked, I was into ketosis, so that that helped. Wow! And then do you uh, are you finding that you're you're basically not as hungry as you were before, and you don't crave as much? Not at all. Uh, I mean, it, it's like uh, I have food, but I don't feel like eating. But I eat because I have to uh, get my uh, daily calories in. Yeah, I'm the same way. I'm like, oh shoot, I got to eat now. I'm like. I guess like I guess see what happens then you start eating and then you're getting hungry and like because you're actually raising the blood sugars a little bit so right. that it drops and you're yeah. hungry. It's like you probably wouldn't be especially with people in the morning they wouldn't be as hungry if they didn't eat. As soon as they eat now they're hungry 2 hours later. So it's kind of like there are this it's yes. a trap. So one of my colleague I was talking to him uh uh so he uh has a diabetes. So I asked him uh, why don't you do uh intermittent fasting? so he was like no my doctor has given me pills i take them i feel better so i i i recollected one of your video that it would be a sugar which makes them feel better <clears throat> so i told him uh, i know a doctor who uh, is very good in this so three to uh, four of my colleagues have started actually following you would have seen new subscriptions coming from them uh, at least on youtube they have started following you and uh, uh, Two of my friends they nearly lost three to four kgs after following your videos. Wow, that's great. Yes. And one of uh, them has also got into ketosis. So we, uh, when we did this uh, medical test, uh, it ketosis were detected in his urine. So yeah, all advice that you have given is helping us a lot. That's great. That's great. And for those people who are new to this uh, this video and this concept, I have a lot of other basic videos you can watch on what to eat, the details. There's a little real summary book the my new book is not out yet is the index is being done so it's another month but i have a summary book it's on my website it's it's you can probably get through it in 20 minutes but like um this kind of like telling you here's what to eat exactly here's what to do but the the two things that people tend to be concerned with is oh i'm eating all this cholesterol i'm going to get a heart attack well no you're not your body makes a lot of cholesterol 3000 mg a day that's the equivalent of a pound of butter a day, 14 eggs or 300 strips of bacon. So it's not your body um will basically make less when you eat more. And uh it's just like we've been brainwashed that cholesterol is bad, but uh what you're doing is you got into ketosis. Now you actually feel what it feels like and uh I highly doubt that you would ever go back to your old ways because now you know the benefits and you actually experienced it. Yes, I would definitely not go. See, uh, I joined Gold's Gym for uh, when initially uh, four to five, uh, five, six years back, uh, th uh, thinking that they are the one of the best that I could uh, uh, look out for. Uh, but the advice that I got from them was to eat five to six meals, uh, seven meals plan. I mean, what kind of advice are they giving? Which is actually not true. I mean, it didn't help me at all. And it was, it is so difficult to follow that. You have to prepare those meals, pack them, take them with you. and all that i mean it is very difficult in uh, current life i mean how will you do it uh, that was one thing yeah i mean like you're doing one meal a day you are you saving any money doing one meal a day i think so <laughs> definitely i'm saving a lot on uh, uh, the supplements as well so when i started gymming uh, the trainer in gold's gym he told me that you'll have to take uh, bcaa you'll have to take pre workout you'll have to take intra workout you'll have to take post workout uh, and i used to buy all that but uh, in india we don't get genuine uh, supplements so i used to import it from us every time 
so it used to cost me around uh, uh, you know uh, 400 uh, 300 400 dollars to uh, you know every month for uh, for supplements uh, that i'm saving that uh, every month i am not using any supplement at all it is just it is just and just whole food that i'm eating that to one meal which is, which has helped me to lose my weight i was uh, 200 lbs as i said and in last four to five months since i have started following you yes five to six months when i started uh, i was looking into your videos from quite some time but i actually started following them from five months and now i weighed around 154 uh, lbs a pound that's great is your wife following the is she doing the eating plan yes so she uh, she recently got pregnant we, we, got, we got a baby and uh, uh, then she was concerned about how to uh, you know uh, lose weight because she had got out of shape so she started following intermittent fasting uh, and she also i mean eats the food that she cooks for me so there has not been any issues with uh, uh, the production of milk uh, i mean she is able to breastfeed the baby with the diet that you have told us there is no side effects at all my baby is also very good uh, so she uh, is following it and she has also lost around five to six kg, uh, kgs in last uh, six weeks she's going a little slow she's eating two meals uh, two to three meals but yeah she's following intermittent fasting that's awesome and i think if, if a female is breastfeeding i think two or three meals is, is probably a little better just to make sure you get everything all the nutrients but the point is that if someone has a uh, midsection weight they need to do the ketosis and intermittent fasting together because ketosis you can still do six meals a day well that's just screwed that up and then uh, the other thing is that uh, um, they want to um, if you have if you can't get out of bed in the morning like let's say you you lost your vitality or your energy and you get brain fog you just you just do this and you, it gets better you get more focus um, ketosis was basically for uh, epileptic seizures so anything with uh, seizures or epilepsy you need to do this because it actually feeds the brain so there's a lot of benefits that go way beyond just weight um cognitive skin is better i think you might have said your skin's a little bit better right did you were you the one that told yes, me that? yes definitely i mean what has happened is uh, so uh, the where i go to gym so i have uh, the people who work out with me they are working out from last five to six years and they have a good physique but then the way they saw my transformation from last five to six months now they are coming to seek advice from me uh, that happened actually two of them very good uh, bodybuilders uh, professionals they are doing uh, it from long time they come and ask me now uh, hey what is your diet plan can you tell us i'm i'm trying hard to lose uh, uh, the uh, uh, fat but i'm not able to do it but i see that you have done some magic that you have drastically lost it in last five to six months so what is exactly that you have done so i told them that uh, i am into ketosis so they say uh, is it good for your body are you sure i said yeah it is i mean i'm doing it from five six months and i haven't seen uh, faced any problems so they were like one of my friend uh, did it and he got constipation so he had to go to doctor uh, to take medications to uh, get out of uh, the, uh, constipation. I said, you uh, go to YouTube and follow uh, Dr. Bird. He uh, He's the one whom I follow and uh, you'll get good results is what I have said, told them. Yeah, yeah, because um, you know, you, there's a lot of different aspects. You need to know what to do. You know, if you get constipation, keto, flu, whatever, there's handlings for everything because when you switch your cells over to this new machine, it, it actually requires a little more of certain nutrients. So um, you got to understand the whole picture. Even the dietitians that are uh, critical of this diet, I know they don't even understand it. So when I explain it to someone, I, before I tell them what to do, I tell them why it works. Right. So they really get that data versus just blindly following an eating plan that they don't understand that conflicts with everything else they've done. They might not do it. So that's why the videos are important. Um, but yeah, my whole thing is, um, giving people the truth on how to burn fat. So they have the tools now. So it's not a matter of, uh, believing someone, but experiencing it, knowing it's true. And then being able to have that tool, if you need to lose weight or, you know, if you want to eat what you want, that's fine. But at least you know how to undo it if you mess up. Right. 
So uh, 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 keto has taken a lot of you know uh, attention uh, nowadays, but uh, there are many people who advise on ketos. Even I was you know if I go and search on Google uh, or YouTube to find anything related to ketos, I'll find a lot of videos. But uh, they are not that easy to follow, and what they say is not actually true. Unless uh, I see what you tell us, I have followed that and I have. Ex- experience that and I've got the results so I know that whatever you tell is true and you go very detailed in uh, explaining what it exactly is others don't do that they will just read and they will uh, reiterate it to us but uh, the videos that you have are very detailed I have given it to my friends I have you know uh, uh, referred my friends for uh, to subscribe to your channels and they are also finding it very useful uh, i remember one instance one is the see and, and I, i'm how do you know the timings when to release the videos <laughs> you are at a point i mean i took i did my test and i found high crp and then you're releasing a video on c-reactive protein uh, the other day a couple of months back my wife uh, was dealing with uh, a, a after pregnancy effects like she was getting hair fall uh, she was getting hair loss and then you released a video about why do you get uh, hair loss post pregnancy and then she started taking nettle root uh, so yeah, yeah. i have a secret camera i'm watching you and just seeing what problems <laughs> you run into and quickly create that video and then i release it yeah <laughs> i mean it makes you uh, become as a uh, as a i mean it makes you uh, uh, it makes us feel you as a family doctor uh, like you are looking, uh, uh, I mean, yeah, you, you have a, uh, something that you're observing us and then you are helping us out on every situation. That is what is happening. I mean, you make us give that. I read most of the comments and we, I have a lot of comments on uh, a lot of videos, but I just get feedback to see what people want to know more about. So that's where I get the ideas for the videos. Uh, so, yeah, so if enough people are interested, I'll do a video on that. But um, but I'll, you know, people say, well, how do you release two videos a day? How do you come up with the material? Um, I mean, one video alone could take me 10 hours of research. Yeah, I'm talking exactly. like five minutes of a video. So I'm not just like throwing them out there. I'm like really going through to make sure that the data is correct and then um, put it out there versus uh, just put out a bunch of crap. And I think I appreciate you uh, noticing that. <laughs> And we are grateful to you. I mean, I don't know how to thank you for the things that you are doing. It is really helping. And in country like India, uh, where our staple food comes mostly from carbs. I mean, uh, if you look at uh, a, a, a proper food, if I go my hometown and I ask my mom to make a food, she will pre- uh, the food that I'll have will be mostly on carbs. It will be rice. Uh, then uh, we call something as uh, Indian bread. Uh, they are also made of uh, wheat and uh, uh, then vegetables uh, we mostly include potatoes everywhere so uh, that is how it has been and uh, exchanging our mindset to follow a keto diet is very difficult but your videos make it uh, really easy to understand uh, you you explain it, it like anyone uh, would understand it i mean a non medical background guy is also able to understand what you're talking I mean, I can advise my friends now uh, on diabetes. That's how it has been. I'm glad you like that. Yeah, I try to explain it to a seven-year-old so I can really break it down, not assuming that you know anything, just trying to give you the basics. But, hey, this is a great uh, interview, and I want to thank you for your great success story. And so um, I'm glad we can do it in your car. And it worked out fine. It was totally fine. Thanks to you, Doctor. It all, all credit goes to you uh, on my transformation. You have literally saved my life. I mean, I had a fatty liver. I had so many issues. I can't tell you. I can't explain those on a video call. But I had so many complications within going uh, going within me. Uh, but now, when I uh, uh, look at myself, uh, the way other compliment me, it has been amazing. I mean. It is very difficult for people like us who do a sedentary job. I am a, a, a computer engineer, so I am always on in front of my computer sitting and doing a, a brain work. There is no a manual a physical activity that I actually do uh, and the eating habits as well. So all credit goes to you on the transformation that I have done. Thank you. Thank you. And my wife also wants to say you thank you because she is also 
uh, of great help. I mean, it is helping her also. Awesome. Will you tell her I appreciate that? Uh, I had one request. If you can uh, make a video on how to build muscles. I mean, uh, it most of your videos have been where you we lose fat and it is very effective. But if you can give uh, some, uh, you know, uh, tips on how to build muscles while being in keto. I'll tell you what, I'll release that tomorrow. I already did it. I just didn't release it yet. Oh. So I was waiting for you to request it. Now I'll release it tomorrow. Okay, great. Thanks so much. That sure. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye. Okay. You too. Bye. Bye.